profit standpoint, we still see a lot of gyms that come in making more than $50,000 a month that are still in the red on a monthly basis. And that's a, not a great place to be. So if you're there, keep listening. We've got tons of ways to help you become more profitable without really changing anything. Now, my name is Kale Owen. I'm the CEO of Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. And over the past six years at Gym Launch, we have helped scale over 4,500 different gyms across the world to be able to ultimately reach more people, make more money, and save more lives. So if you are a gym owner that's making over $50,000 a month, or you want to ultimately do that, this video is for you. I'm gonna break down the three things that are keeping you from scaling. Now, if you wanna follow along with this PDF, I've created a free download for you, which you can click the description down below. There's a link there, download it for free, utilize it. We're giving it away. These are all the things that we teach our clients and that they use and we've developed over the last six years, even longer actually, and looking at the industry and all the data that we see, these are the types of frameworks and money models that we use with our clients to help them scale to ultimately build the business that they want. Let's talk about this next section, level three gym. Now, a level three gym, they typically have less than 400 members. Now that may seem like a lot if you're making over $50,000 a month, but if you're less than that $100,000 a month mark, it's totally possible based on your price. So one of the major things that we we pull one of the levers that we talk with our clients about is increasing pricing and getting it to a point where it's actually able to help you make a profit. We'll get to that in later stuff. Number one is members are less than 400. We're talking about gyms that are making over $50,000 a month. They're actually typically less than a million dollar a month run rate, which is $83,000. So they're kind of in this $30,000 range and they're hitting this ceiling and they can't quite make it past it. Now, from a staff standpoint, obviously owner is typically still in the business, working it in some capacity on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, it may not be at this point where you're working 50, 60 hours a week, but you're probably thinking about it working on it in the business and on the business 30 to 40 hours a week. This facility typically has two to five trainers, maybe more, depending on how many people you're trading memberships with. You have a manager, typically a salesperson at this point, and admin slash front desk. Now, what's fascinating about this is from a profit standpoint, business profit, we still see a lot of gyms that come in making more than $50,000 a month that are still in the red on a monthly basis. And that's a, not a great place to be. So if you're there, keep listening. We've got tons of ways to help you become more profitable without really changing anything. We'll see it up to roughly 15, maybe sometimes 20K, but typically we see it at the 15K mark is the cap at this point of someone pulling profit out of the business. Now, for many of you, if you're at a lower level, you may be thinking this is amazing. However, at the same time, there's a piece of this when you run the actual math and the time and the investment that's needed in this with the liabilities included, you typically want to be able to pull out more. And it's totally possible to actually pull out 15 to $20,000 a month from a $45,000 a month gym rather than a million dollar gym. When we look at these, we want to be maximizing for profit and setting our business up to be sustainable. The three reasons why gyms here can't scale and become highly profitable. Number one, churn, leaky bucket syndrome. When you get to this level and you have this many members, if you have 10% churn, if you have 400 members, you have to sign up 40 members a month just to stay in the same spot. Think about that for a second. 40 members a month just to stay the exact same, not even to grow. So if you wanted to grow, you'd have to sign up 41 or 50 or 60 every single month. Being able to keep that many clients at less than 10% churn is astounding. Gyms that are able to do that are implementing the right systems that we'll walk through later on, but it takes time and it takes another piece of this, which is reason number three, and that is teams. It takes an exceptional team in order to be able to do this. Putting people, the right people in the right spots to be able to help you grow and scale is key in order to getting to the next level. Every single gym that we work with that gets over $100,000 a month has an exceptional team that is able to take pretty much almost everything over so that the owner can work on the business not in the business. Every gym that we have that is making typically $50,000 or more, the gym owner is off the floor. They're not training. They shouldn't be training. They should never be doing that. They're off of administrative stuff. They're not doing front desk stuff. They're typically not doing sales. They have a manager in place and now they're working on expansion. How do I make sure that I'm still getting the leads that I need to? How do I make sure that we're optimizing all the systems that we have? Focusing on the second piece, which is expansion revenue. So expansion revenue briefly is making your current clients worth more to you. That's it. Taking a client that's in large group training and moving them into semi-private training. Adding in what we call hybrid, monetizing on custom nutrition and accountability for your clients to give them custom nutrition plans, hold them more accountable to get them better results. That is typically in addition to their training. That can also be used as an online component. It's very important to understand that we don't implement that until we have certain pieces in place. And then there's a very important piece of this that most gyms are missing out on. And this is the easiest way to increase revenue and pure profit per member. And I'm shocked that gyms don't do this because it's right there out in the open for everyone. And if you're not doing this, you're literally 
literally missing out on tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars of pure profit every single year. And that is selling high margin products to your clients that they're already purchasing and using. They're just simply not buying it from you. These are the three areas. We've got churn, leaky bucket syndrome, expansion revenue, making your clients worth more to you. You can do that three ways. One is ascension into higher levels of service. Two would be selling high margin products on subscription so that you can pull that profit out per client. The third piece of expansion revenue is bolting on something like a hybrid program, which would be custom nutrition and accountability. And then the third crippling problem that's keeping gyms from getting there is your team. You simply don't have the right team to help you scale. And that's typically one of the bigger reasons why, because you can't do everything. You need smart people in the room with you, people that can help drive the vision of the facility and execute on the strategy that you have. If you like this information uh, and you find this valuable and you want to learn exactly how you can scale past this and the frameworks that you need in order to do that, just keep watching because we have more videos that we're going to do. We're just giving this away for free. If you want to download this entire PDF that also has written descriptions on every single section, go ahead, click the link in the description, download it for free. And if you find this valuable, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified as we release all the rest of the videos in this entire series.